Where are we going today for our adventure? Berbera. Berbera. <laughs> well done, Leila. So we're going for a road trip. Hageza to Berbera. So it's 7.30 in the morning, so it's still... I've got that morning eeriness about it. Right light is on. I was telling her. So you can see just how good this road is, right? It's a beautiful road. So, um, so far coming out from Hargeza, it's just been a beautiful road. Very different to the trip we took a year and a half ago. <laughs> through another checkpoint but you can see I don't know if you can see down here we're going on an overpass so it's awesome because when the rainwaters come they can just go underneath the road and no roads getting destroyed so um, and also no property gets lost and people get a lot of people used to lose their life here no it's good yeah that's fantastic nice some camels in the distance there This one's high again, yeah, so that the quality of the road remains when the rainy yeah, season comes. Yeah, and there's all the water goes underneath or on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see it's higher than the actual ground. Yeah. Abo, maybe Naso Hablu. Yeah, that's right. On one side it's fine, the other side is a little bit. So we left at 7 30 in the morning, we'll need to time how long it takes us. So and also too, we're driving at like 80 to 90 kilometers. We're definitely not speeding. There's some people on these roads that go crazy, right? So however long it takes us, that's a very um, conservative, safe amount of time. It's as conservative as you can get. And, and this is another Wait a bridge. Minute. Another bridge here, you can see. The water can go through. Yeah. We've gone past three of them now so far, so it's great. They go often. They do. The unicorns, the unicorns are hiding right now. Right? So you can't see them. The unicorns. Baby bridge. Baby bridge. Yeah, another, another bridge. one. No, the unicorns are hiding on the mountain. No. Telecommunication up on the hill looks yeah. pretty serious, so satellites. Yeah. See one 
life doesn't work for him now. Same as us. I just I said I can't believe how amazing this road is. Yeah. So there's plenty of these little overpasses, but they've obviously got tunnels underneath to be able to allow all that water to go underneath. They've just jumped out so that the kids can uh, stretch their legs. What do you think, Jamal? Yeah? Of course, it's super windy. I doubt, I doubt that they're watermelons. I'm sure they called oh, something else. Oh, we saw them in Dubai like a few years ago, huh? Do you oh, think? Ah, yeah. Malik, they've so, got spikes why do they look like Hoya, this? when we were new to Dubai... I know, but they're not a Hoya, When watermelon. we were new to Dubai about three yes. and a half yeah, years ago... Yeah. Um, we went to the desert mm -hmm. with some friends, and we saw this bush. You think? We saw these things. So first we saw, like, um, it, it was more like uh, this color. This green one. Right. And we saw them scattered out. They were a bit bigger. Maybe like this big. Yeah. And uh, we we wondered where it came from. Me and Abu. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> yep. So we saw this plant. Yeah. And many of these on it. And then, um, and then yeah, so it's not a watermelon. Okay. It's a fruit. Yeah. That's 
So just behind this checkpoint, you can see that there is um, two donkeys fighting. This is probably one of maybe five or six checkpoints. These checkpoints, um, I couldn't really film very much, so I don't have very many footage of that, but the, uh, the security or the police get quite angry if there's any filming. So um, these checkpoints though, they want to see that the car has been registered and the tax has been paid. There's a sticker on the windscreen that shows that. They also too just want to check for security, like it's a country that's, you know, had a lot of you know, security issues. So of course this is really important for the safety of Somaliland. They want to check to um, your license. So they asked Assad to show his license, which became a little bit problematic a couple of times because he only has a digital license on his phone, his physical license, the device phasing out everything physical, making everything um, digital. So a lot of of uh, the security guards had not seen that before, so they couldn't quite get their head around it. But anyway, we got through and everything was fine in the end. So you can't imagine the excitement over a road like this. You know, when we drove on this road a year and a half ago, it was a long, unpleasant trip. I don't know, maybe it was four hours or more. And it just was extremely bumpy. It was terrible for the cars and extremely dangerous because of course people still drive super fast because you know, there's so much traffic that goes from the Berbera port transporting goods to Hargeza and then further on. So this not only does it save time, does it save uh, the vehicles from destruction, from constantly going through dangerous potholes, but just um, life. It saves lives because the amount of accidents that happen and yes, the turning over of trucks and things like that, this is just amazing. In saying that still, you see trucks turned over on the side of the road because people go unbelievably fast, way too fast. So, um, but you know, super excitement about a road like this. The quality of the road, the construction, um, but obviously, you know, very qualified engineers. The, um, the overpasses where you've got water being able to go under the road. Not only does it save lives again because there's not water over the road stopping trucks and cars from going through or people making dangerous decisions to go through but it actually preserves the road um, from corroding away it allows the water to safely go through and hopefully be usable for um, farming and animals and, and um, the landscape so it's a super positive thing for a country that is, doesn't have a lot of money to be able to invest in things like that so this kind of investment is, is really a big deal Here is a tower that is obviously for telecommunications, has your satellite dishes on top. Something that Somaliland does really well, which is very surprising, is the cellular connection and the Wi-Fi connection is really quite phenomenal. When Assad first arrived in Hargeza, he went and got himself a Wi-Fi dongle that can travel with you wherever you go. So for 20 US dollars, we were able to get 
um, unlimited internet that we can all use for the month and uh, the internet was fine going from Hargeza to Bevera. All the kids used it um, to connect to phones and uh, it was quite amazing. So there must be a new road oh, being yeah. built. Oh, that's the Berbera Airport? Yeah, the oh, wow. was building that. Nice. This road. So there'll be another option to fly into or is it not an international airport? It will be it will be hopping a guest and then Berbera. So internationally we can fly into Berbera? Yes. Yeah, wow, that's good. We have to stop by the guest. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so what's the little township we're going into? What's it called? Oh, we're here now. Okay, welcome to Berbera. Wait, the diesel engine more powerful? Uh, no, it just I think it lasts longer. What is that like the distribution center here? Yeah, imports. They import everything, all the construction material, all that. Right. Everything. Right. Everything. Abo ACO. His warehouse, is it? That's his warehouse. Okay. This has got a warehouse. distribution center. It's filtered with fiber cable. And it's under the ground? Under the ground. Under the sea. Oh. oh. Okay. And then it will be under the, under the ground, of course. Yeah. Oh, I've just put the aircon on up, just be patient a little bit. Good idea. Oh, what a congregation of old trucks. Huh? Not these ones though. So what I want, do people just go and rent these out and take their stuff from uh, the port and then drive back to my ears? Yeah. I live all the way to the front. Here we are. How do people do it? Yeah, people still do it, yeah. It's, it's just a political difference. See, this is what I like about Berber, right? See yeah, how nice it is, how tiny it is. Yeah. Ooh, that's crazy. What's tiny, Abba? Tidy. 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 Oh. And this is all thanks to Berber. All sort of, yeah. I mean, it's a smaller city than Hagesa, so it's easier, but still, he's doing a really good job. Yeah, even there. Um, that's why they gave him another mandate. So now they gave him another five years. Oh. You know what we were up there on the that. It was a night that I swear I stayed. We stayed exactly the same place. Was it And I said, how was the road trip from Hargeza? Very good, actually. Very the, good. The road is amazing, non-stop. Road trip from Hargeza to Berber.